What up, YouTube? It's your boy Schmitty. Uh, it's Sunday morning, a little bit of rain, so uh, we're we'll jump right into it. Um, had a few pickups this week, and we'll get right into it. No cards, so if uh, you came here to see some cards, go ahead and turn it off. But if not, you want to see some cool shit, stick around. So uh, the first piece I picked up is this uh, Danbury Mint Oakland A's Coliseum. Let you guys get a look at that. Extremely well detailed. My camera will pick it up. This would be like where the BART train would let out. And there's a catwalk um, right into the Coliseum. Uh, Oakland Coliseum is about, nah, I'd say about a 15 minute ride from my house. Quick. Um, I love this place, man. It's just, it's like a second home. Extremely well detailed. Um, the Danbury Mint, they make several different, <clears throat> well, several, they make a lot of uh, different stadiums, different teams. Um, I know they do Shy Park. Eventually, one day, I'd like to add that one to my collection. That one's uh, a lot more inexpensive than the Oakland Coliseum for whatever reason. But, yeah, very cool. Um, but they do make uh, team sets. Um, if you go back to my... One of my old videos, the 73 Danbury Mint. Um, they make the A's. They do the Dodgers. They've done the, the big red machine where the, the nine players, the coach. It's just a beautiful piece. Um, I don't have enough space on my desk right now. Otherwise, I'd bring it out and show you guys. Uh, my next one I picked up is this Stephen Piscotti bobblehead. Stephen Piscotti was traded last year from the St. Louis Cardinals to the A's because his mother, Gretchen, um, passed away from uh, ALS. And when you buy, buy one of these, um, they're really expensive on eBay. So I went to that bobbleheadhalloffame.com or whatever it is, and I was kind of skeptical. I've never bought anything from them. Uh, but it, it was here within a couple of days. Uh, it's like 45 bucks. Um, I paid the extra shipping just to ship it faster, expedite shipping. Um, but uh, $5 from every proceed goes to the ALS Foundation to hopefully one day find a cure. Um, really good looking bobblehead. Uh, I know Steven just got married recently, so I was hoping he was going to be at the Fan Fest. It is uh, next Saturday up here at Jack London Square. Um, that should be a blast. Um, depending on the weather, um, I might be taking my three-foot uh, Raleigh Fingers bobblehead to get signed, and that should be interesting. So I'm still on the fence of bringing that because people want to touch it and take pictures and, and all that kind of stuff. And then last but not least, if you're still hanging around, is I picked up this 1968 bobblehead. This was made in Japan. I know you're like, didn't you just pick one of these up? Well, I did um, a couple months ago. But this one's different because this one has the batter, is holding the bat, and the hairdo is different. It's got like the little poof. Um, so if I can grab my other one, I'll show you the difference. <clears throat> so this was one that I didn't have. In my collection and it finally popped up and, and I was able to snag it so there was one I was talking about um, so you can kind of see the the two ones holding the baseball the other one is holding the bat different hairstyles pitcher hitter so yeah that is it what an awesome mail day no cards this week but you know what I'm collecting I'm 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 a true ace collector I'm not just collecting cards you know what I mean I like it all and I, it actually, I picked up another killer-ass piece yesterday, but I'm going to save that for another video. Um, so, looking forward to going through some cars tonight, uh, taking care of some people that sent me some packages, sent you guys some, uh, get you guys all hooked up, and uh, that's it. Look forward to uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame voting tonight for uh, Mike Baseball Collector's video. Should be a good time, so... Thanks for hanging out with your boy Schmitty for eh, about five minutes. So I appreciate your time, and uh, I'll see you guys in the comments.